Well, hello everybody. This is I, the Gobster, and we're doing a camera test. Uh, an interesting camera test now, because we now have the facility, as a lovely plane takes off in this very, very windy day. Um, now they have the ability to record, not only on the camera, and somebody tries to kill me, um, but I can also record on the GoPro. And we're actually now getting dual audio. So you can hear me on both cameras. So the phone, is, as you can just see, that was the phone, just readjusting it. The phone is facing me and the car, and the GoPro is now looking out the front windscreen of the car. So not only are we able to do a video whilst we're driving and talking, we're also able to show you what I'm seeing as I'm driving as well, which would be an interesting way of doing things. And that way then, if I'm describing something that's going on in front of me, you can actually see it, whereas before you couldn't, to be fair, and that lets us spun the camera around. So, this is mainly a test. Hopefully I've got the horizon lock on now, on the GoPro, which basically means I can turn the camera upside down, but it will always continue to look forward. So, there's that, so hopefully that'll work. And uh, I just think it might be a different way of, or another interesting way, of producing some content for the channel because I like doing my car videos as I said a lot of the time it's the only time I get chance to uh, be alone and uh, I do quite a bit of driving so sort of marrying up the two things I like to do best or one of the two things I like to do best there are other things but you ain't gonna see that on video unless I decide to set up an OnlyFans <laughs> but no, so we now have this ability to do this. It also means that when I'm driving, I can actually sort of explain roughly where I am. Like, for instance, now I'm pulling up at the lights at what's known as the Wheat Chief Junction on the A45. There's an ex Coldstream guard it's clearly in front of me. So I can even now describe what you can see on the camera. So on your left in front, you can see the uh, Wheat Chief Toby Carvery. If you look on your right, you can see what is the old abandoned uh, Barclays Bank. And in front of that is a, a um, statue. And that's the front of a um, DC-3 Dakota, which is uh, because we're not far from airport. And on the other side, you may see, I'm not sure, because I'm not sure about the reach, by the Toby Carvery sign that says Sheldon. Just next to that is a Wheat Chief, a what well, a wheat sheaf is, which is a pile of tied up wheat. So that's there. So this is the wheat sheaf lights. You'll see a many a time when they go red that you'll get people jumping the lights. That's why there's always accidents at this junction. So in any case, <clears throat> you'll see that plane there. We'll actually get that, because believe it or not, the, it's actually got the interior. It's an interesting little statue. We can get that up, we'll miss that, the, uh, miss that pothole. And now we're heading down towards what would be called the one which is known as the Radleys and there's a church in front as you can see. I can't remember which uh, faith it is. I think it's a Roman Catholic one. I'm not sure. I can't remember. We're going to turn here any case and go up um, Washoe's Lane. And the church of St Thomas More, that's Roman Catholic. There you go. That's a nice gun. There's a school attached to the side of it. Yeah, which is the St. Thomas More Catholic Primary School, which therefore does indicate that that church is a Catholic church. Aha. So, now driving back towards the Coventry Road, doing a loop because I need to go to the shops. The big building that you now see in front of you, with a new build next to it, uh, that used to be NCR. And if you, excuse the terrible condition of the roads. NCR, National Cash Registers, that was the headquarters of the people who made cash machines. Probably still do, sorry I have to adjust this. Probably still do have to make cash machines. But uh, it's now um, luxury flats. And when I say luxury flats, the roof's, uh, it's got a garden, it's got its own gym and shit like that. And it's rather expensive. You could have pulled that then, there was plenty of time. The car was turning, but it doesn't matter. So yeah, and then directly in front of you now, 
slightly to your right where the green M M42 sign is, that building there is the telephone exchange. Whether it's still, I think it still is used the telephone exchange because there's always BT vans and open source vans and God knows what else. Open reach, not open source. That's free shit on the internet. Um, <laughs> so yeah, so this is roughly where I, uh, around where I live. So we now have the facility to show that. Um, uh, we turn around and we get the most important thing, of course, is a KFC and tool station and this, that and the other. So this is the, uh, the, the, the Wheat Chief Sheldon. You've got the TSB bank now coming on your left hand side. Uh, and it looks like the uh, Boyce's Fish Bar, which used to be awesome. It's got for let and Costa Coffee and all that sort of malarkey. And we're now into the Euro car parks. So we get a half an hour for free. Yay! <laughs> and uh, um, we're going to, where it says Sheldon News, we're going to take a parcel back apparently. Mrs. wants me to take a parcel back, so parcel back it is. I mean, I park up the corner, but someone's decided to park the van all the way across so we're gonna to have to tuck in here not where i particularly like because it's a bit tight but there we go we're in we're only going to be a few minutes and what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go to the shop and take something back and i am going to leave the gopro recording that'll be fun well that's that parcel taken back to the happiest person on earth of course i'm being sarcastic the most miserably son of a gun ever um yeah i mean i know it's probably i've been here early in the morning and that but jesus a little bit of happiness wouldn't go amiss but that's the way it is i guess not everybody could be cheerful so we're now going to go on our way back home Oh, it would help if I was in the right gear and didn't try and stall the vehicle. We're going to pull out and we're going to go down the Coventry Road a bit because uh, might as well use the camera to try and see how you have a look around. So yeah, you see now we're around, you've come around in a big loop and there's that uh, my plane again. I said I will actually get the GoPro 2 there and have everybody stare at me, but it'd be interesting to get that because it's, uh, it's, it's part of where I live and it's another part of the things that are going to be on this channel now we're going to have uh, me going around and showing places off so this is roughly where, you know, around where I live as we go past you may or may not see it's actually got it's actually got a bulkhead door it's got a dash it's actually got the cockpit in there and everything I'm hopefully going to be able to get in there and have a good look outstanding, outstanding parking with the arse sticking out you'll get to know uh, also when I'm driving um, I get really annoyed at the poor standard of driving nowadays because it is just it's just terrible so just going past here there's a bob shop that's open 24 hours a day and right next to that was the uh, where i get all the food for the animals which you'll also get to see on videos just passing now on the left uh was the old seven trent building uh, now that's actually flats although you probably just quick look at that They've made literally zero effort. Uh, they just put flats inside. It still looks at the same building. They've got the same signs and the parking signs and everything. Done on the cheap, no doubt. On one of my walks, we did say I walking past the Harvester, the Arden Oak. Well, there it is again. I'm just going past on your left. And then we got Sheldon Country Park, which we will go down one day because we'll take you around to the back of the airport. That's, that goes around the airport. And then we've got the allotments. Sheldon allotments which are on the left again everything's basically on the left today while we're doing this uh, Eagle Court so you got the allotments on the left and then you got Eagle Court and then down there as you can see it's Hatchford Brook Golf Course it's on the left which will uh, all these places I'm going to go to with the camera I'm going to do it as we turn up here to go right you'll notice there's a set of traffic lights we see um, the wind has also blown the thing out of the way uh, this was a recent accident that actually caused the road to be closed and the air ambulance to land very very close i think it actually landed right in the middle of the road here to pick up the poor person who was injured no idea how it happened but they took the they, they took the light post out and you can still see a bit of the gravel on the floor maybe i'm not sure it's very hard to tell because i can't see 
exactly what it's doing. Right, the light's going to change for us now. And we'll carefully go past the barrier that's been blown by the wind. Very windy today. Um, I'm recording this on the 21st of December. You won't get to see it until uh, the new year. So happy new year to you all. But yeah, it's, it's black, as you can probably see by the trees, uh, it, it is blowing a bit uh, today, which is a bit of a challenge, but there you go. And we're turning up our road. Well, not our road, but heading towards home. Stop because there's an electric car coming past. So yeah, so it's the usual bins on the floor. Uh, the usual chaos that's caused in the UK by a bit of wind. And the other thing you'll also notice is um, I'm not going to actually let the recording go. So I love, I can go anywhere, but you just keep coming. The speed thing that seems to decide randomly when it's going to work. Either side stream so away, it's Elmden Park on the left, and well, technically on the right as well, over the little road, uh, river bridge stream, which you'll see again. You get to see all these things eventually. So. This will be travelling with Gobby, or travelling with the Gobster, I think I'll call it. Um, just so we can see what it goes like, it'd be awesome. Hopefully you're going to enjoy these particular videos, because Gobster talks about things, is going to be that. It means just talking about things and doing things like this. So you get to see what I do on my, uh, my daily travels. And also you'll find that the videos will finish before I get home. So it'll be interesting to see what the footage is on with the GoPro. And it'll be interesting to see if we can marry the two up. So this is an experiment and a little journey around where I live. Hopefully you enjoyed it. There will be more coming up. Uh, we have a lot more. Now I've invested in a GoPro. That'll be fun. We can get some more shots and more things because the GoPro is a lot more versatile and a lot more um, advanced than this. But although the camera on the phone does work really really well as well so you know we can't complain we now have two ways of recording and we can have a multi-cam sort of thing set up which is going to be great so there you go so thanks so much for watching if you enjoyed this please feel free to like and share uh, there's a comment section down below let me know what you're thinking obviously remember all the silliness which will be covered in another video to, to explain what what you can and can't do and what the comment section is etc 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 don't forget to subscribe to the channel. That'd be much appreciated. If you do, don't forget to hit the bell and select it to all. That also includes if you've got it on your mobile app, because if sometimes if you don't do it on the mobile app as well, it won't do it. And with that, whenever you catch up with this video, I hope you do have a wonderful day, afternoon, or evening. And with that, and as always, and until the next one, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to love you and leave you.